369-4269 to run Allen Funeral Services Limited. To run Allen Funeral Services Limited. We are conveniently located at 61 Duke Street, Porter Spain. With many years of experience, we provide quality services in your time of bereavement. Affordable price range to fit any budget. Call 1-868-369-4269 to run Allen Funeral Services Limited. To run Allen Funeral Services Limited. We are conveniently located at 61 Duke Street, Porter Spain. With many years of experience, we provide quality services in your time of bereavement. Affordable price range to fit any budget. Call 1-868-369-4269 to run Allen Funeral Services Limited. Funeral Services Limited. We are conveniently located at 61 Duke Street, Porter Spain. With many years of experience, we provide quality services in your time of bereavement. Affordable price range to fit any budget. Call 1-868-369-4269. To run Allen Funeral Services Limited. To run Allen Funeral Services Limited. We are conveniently located at 61 Duke Street, Porter Spain. With many years of experience, we provide quality services in your time of bereavement. Affordable price range to fit any budget. Call 1-868-369-4269 to run Allen Funeral Services Limited. To run Allen Funeral Services Limited. We are conveniently located at 61 Duke Street, Porter Spain. With many years of experience, we provide quality services in your time of bereavement. Affordable price range to fit any budget. Call 1-868-369-4269 to run Allen Funeral Services Limited. Of the good. 
Let us stand, please. This evening we come here to celebrate the life of Carol Morris. Let us give God thanks for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Heavenly Father, this evening, Lord, we give you thanks to Lord God for everything that thou hast done for us and still doing. 
Remember that this is one Lord who cannot praise you this evening, blessed Father. But we know that you have heard this evening, blessed Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to guide us and protect us. Keep us together, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and everything we have done wrong to offend you. In your name we pray, through Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Amen. <coughs> Before him on, the, on our hymn sheet, I want you to sing along with me. What a wonderful choir we have this evening. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortune, glory divine. Here of salvation, which is of God. Born of his spirit, washing his blood. This is my story. This is my song, with in my Savior, oh God belong. This is my story, this is my song, with in my Savior, oh God belong. Perfect submission. Perfect delight, visions of one, no books on my side, is just descending, bringing among echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. I read a portion of God Holy Word from the book of St. John Gospel. Here we begin from the 33rd Psalm, the 38th Gospel from the book of St. John. For the bread of God is he which came down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger nor thirst. But I said unto you, that you also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth to me, shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will cast out. 
For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that all which hath given me, I should lose nothing, but I shall raise him up again in the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up in the last day. The end of the portion of God's holy word, according to Saint. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Brothers and sisters, this is a, a glorious day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's only the living can serve God. The dead can no longer serve God. Everything that has breath, give God thanks. And we thank God this day. And even for the deceased one, we thank God for her. She has done her part and she has gone. Never to return. So those of us are here, let us give God thanks and praise. And remember that he is the maker and giver of our life. There's a nice little story in, in the Bible about Jesus traveling. And on his journey, he saw a woman by the name of Martha came to him and say, if you was here, my brother, my, my brother will have never died. And Jesus said, he did not die. I am the living, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever believeth in me and liveth shall never die. Once you have that belief, that you will never die. You only go to sleep for a little time. Man that is born of a woman have a short time to live and his life is made up of sorrow and mystery all the time. We must give God thanks while we live in here. Because the, the dead cannot serve God. It's only we can save God. Tell when you get up in the morning, give God thanks and praise for everything you have done. And the family that she, she has left behind, I ask you not to give up. Continue to stick together as a family. Don't let nothing separate you from the love of God. Without God, we cannot do anything. Your mother is already gone. She lay there, she cannot say anything or do anything for herself. It's only the living can praise God. I don't know if I get a volunteer to come up and read a lesson for me, please. I have the books here, but I need a reader. The scripture or the unity? The scripture reading. Anybody? Yeah, that's us. Hmm? That's what it was, the eulogy. Oh, she had the eulogy? Yeah. But All right. Well, then, yeah. I'll read the second lesson before the eulogy. Here begins the ninth period psalm from the book of David. O Lord, there was been no dreading place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even there was formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, you children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight act as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away with a flood, 
And they are as a seed in the morning, they are like the grass which grows up. In the morning, it flourishes and grows up, and in the evening, it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thy anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of our continents. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath, and we spend our years as a tale that is being told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet in their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear? So is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it depend thee concerning thy servant. O satisfy us only with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy works appear unto thy servants, and the glory unto the children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Ye the work of our hands, establish thou it. Here in the, in the 90th Psalm, containing 17 verses. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, would it out then. Amen. We don't have the eulogy by one of our children. to everyone. Pleasant evening. On behalf of my family, I would like to take, I would like to begin by thanking everyone that is here today and for those who have sent their condolences. My name is Alicia Morris, fourth grandchild of late Carol Angela Morris Moore. She was the last of three sisters, second Louise Codner, also deceased. She was a mother of nine children. Vanessa, Troy, Simon, Fedrica, Sharian, Goshrin, Letitia, Bobby, and Salome. She was very fond of her boys. My grandmother wasn't an easy, easy lady to deal with, but her heart was filled with love despite her imperfection. She may have passed on, but her memories will always live on with us. The beauty shop, church, the party, elegance, fashion, money, and family. These are the words that make me remember my grandmother most. She was a daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a friend. She was a piece of history by itself. She lived a full life, complete with laughter and sorrow. As we gather today, Although we miss our physical appearance in our lives, let us not grieve, but also celebrate our life as it was fully lived. Share memories as her spirit lived on with us. She lived a long life and had many opportunities to make a positive impact on others. Thank you for your sacrifices, your care and concern, your love and everything that you have done for our family. Wherever you are, I know you're in a better place no more pain, and I will forever be grateful and thankful that you were my grandmother. Thank you. Yeah. One shaken. Hey, Father. Very good. Say something. Yeah. There is a time and a season for everything. There is a time you have to work hard. There is a time for you to relax. A time to live and a time to die. A time to love and a time to hate. And all, all, everything works within our time. 
and each and every one of us here is, must go through these times. There's a time for everything, and right now, there's a time for the sister to go to her resting place. So let us stand and sing our, our second hymn, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how oh sweet a song that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but not. At this time, we'll open the coffin for those who want to view the body. <coughs> we 
Let us stand. For closing him, how great thou art. <coughs> o Lord my God, when I am lonesome, wonder, consider all the word thy hands had made. I see the sun. <coughs>
didn't know today would be your last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight it's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Always made my Troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me When I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah
Ben de bu adam. Supply their needs and their wonders, of God. You with them in the time of trouble and the time of difficulties, Lord God. You remember, blessed Father. Remember when everything that you do to Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Heavenly Father, this evening, Lord, we come before you, Lord. And we are about to commit Carol Morris to the, this old pastor, Father. Remember that old she came from and old she must return, blessed Father. We ask you all about to guide those that remain back to the Father God. Bless them and keep them, stand by them in your need, O Lord God. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and all eternal home. Our God and our Father, we ask you to hear our cry, blessed Jesus. You are going in this evening, blessed Jesus, as we are about to commit the body this evening, blessed God. <coughs> we are about to commit Carol Morris to the ground from Earth, where she came from. We are about to commit her, yes, that's Father. Oh, my boy, Carol, no, he's in the game. From dust to dust, and ashes to ashes. Pablo, Pablo, boy, back up, Dad. I know. Right. So, yeah. Send, send in the speech, don't mean so. Like, you know, 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 you I don't want to 
I'm about to make it a minute. I'm about to
Supply their needs and their wonders, of God. You with them in the time of trouble and the time of difficulties, Lord God. You remember, blessed Father. Remember when everything that you do to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord pray, our Father. Lord, 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 and he does not give me the nation, but he gave us some name. For that is the kingdom, the power of God, forever and ever. Remember, from old we came, and old we shall return. Dust to dust, and ashes to ashes. This is the way the master. And it's only the living can serve God. She can serve God again because of what is born away. For every breath that we have, let us so go and thank God for every little thing. God, we thank for the gathering next evening. As we are about to go to our different homes, we have to go to the us and guide us on the way. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.